Imagine that you could build a genome from scratch. That you could choose any gene that you wanted or that you didn't want. That you could write every letter of every DNA sequence. Then imagine you could take that genome, put it inside of a cell, and bring it to life. What genes would you choose? What DNA sequences would you write? What would your cell be capable of? Well, it turns out we do have the ability to write genomes. The first completely synthetic genome was brought to life at the Venter Institute in 2010. The next generation of scientists is going to have the ability to write genomes as a normal part of research and development. But what will they write? The future of genetic design is called synthetic biology. It is the science and the art of building biological systems that do useful or interesting things. Hi, my name is Jake Wintermute. I am a teacher and a researcher here at the CRI hosted by the University of Paris Descartes. For the past two years, I've taught introduction to synthetic biology to the first year students in our master's program. This year, I want to bring that course online. This course will be for anyone who is interested in designer cells. Cells that can create light, color, flavors, smells, valuable chemicals, or life-saving drugs. Cells that can sense and respond to their environment, communicate, interact, and work together. Graduates from this course will be prepared to create living cells of their own design. It's not going to be easy. Living things are not easy to understand. They are not easy to change. They will adapt and respond to you as you work with them. They are squishy and excitable. They reproduce and they evolve. That is what makes synthetic biology unlike any other kind of engineering. And that will make this course fun. See you soon.